get up to that freaking lineup, boy. I'm coming up there, bud. Calm down. So, guys, um, it's kind of awkward seeing me here, ain't it? Right in front of a police mugshot lineup, taking my picture. Hope I don't go to court. I'm just getting my mugshot taken, and now I'm here to explain what yesterday vi yesterday's video was. You guys may not see it, but off camera, there is five guys right across from me. Two of them have firearms, and I don't want to alarm anybody, but I'm actually here to explain what went wrong with yesterday's video. This is not going to be an apology video because I don't really regret that much of anything. I just regret how everything came out. So, yesterday, or technically a couple days ago as I recorded this before getting the case in the mail, um, I was actually planning a COD video to make. Somewhat, I mean, like, I didn't have too much on the script and I decided why not have plan plan it out as I'm recording. And as I was recording... I heard a window broke downstairs, and I walked downstairs to investigate it, and this one guy was there, and usually he's in my friend's video, and if you read my description of my last video from yesterday, I end up taking most of the blame for him, because I did not want anything to happen to my friend, or that guy, or anybody that's related to either of them, so I basically took the fall for most of it, but yeah, I came down there, he came to my house, and he just started spitting facts at me. And I'm like wondering, why in the world are you spitting facts at me? I, I, I asked him that after I ended the uh, video. I think with how I typed it out, I made it sound like I was in cooperation with him. But if you heard how he spoke, it like he walked in knowing all the facts, but he didn't really have a good script with him, you know? And that's kind of what I get scared about because... My stupid self thought uploading that video would be acceptable, but I ended up losing American social credit, which I thought social credit was only a North Korean and Chinese thing. But no, it's actually starting to affect me now because I just lost a sub as of recording, and there have been people threatening me in my comments, calling me retarded, privileged, stupid, racist, just all that, and I'm here to actually defend myself. I, I'm none of those things, by the way. I'm not racist. I love black people. I'm just saying, that guy broke into my house, and I let him speak, and my stupid self was the... I didn't stop the recording as he started speaking. I probably should have heard him out after I rec uh, stopped recording, so we could talk it out, and then I could help him script it better, so he don't just sound like a babbling dictionary or something. I would think that maybe I could have him on a podcast later, because I am now in fear for my life somewhat. Because I'm starting to think, when you mess with the black community, you tell the truth, all of a sudden there's going to be a pipe bomb in your house, and there's going to be a bunch of white people sucking them off for it. And it's just a whole scary thing, you know. I'm not certain how much social credit I just lost. I hope I didn't lose too much, so I can at least get a job or do a flip or, you know, have friends. You know, I don't know how much social credit I'd lose for a video that small, that... I'm not 100% certain of keeping up. I'll probably either private the video or uh, get rid of all the comments. And if you guys look at the video, like, let's say, years or months from now or even weeks from now, you, and there's no and you can't comment on the video, that is your guys' fault. I had to watch that, watch that comment section like a hawk now. Someone puts down my address. It's not going to be fun for me or anybody that's related to me or anybody else because I don't even want to see his address either. But I hope people in my comment section, they can wisen up a bit. Please don't freaking dox anybody. Don't go after him like that. He just broke into my house and decided to speak some facts. And that's just how it, it was. It's just very scary situation. I did not want to put myself in too fully. But I think that's kind of why I expect putting myself as the major arbiter of it. I took most of the blame. And now I might actually have to make the first video where there's not going to be any comments. I feel there's probably a decent amount of dislikes, but YouTube got rid of dislikes two years ago, so that's kind of a noof. Okay, and for anybody watching, if I don't have a video by tomorrow and there's no activity on my channel, just know that they probably caught me and killed me. I think if I lose like past 2,000 social credit, people will start coming to my house and shoot me. Adios.